Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Sunless Skies. We're in a bit of a sticky situation right here. Our terror is quite high. My plan was to do these two prospects. In fact I've got the stuff right here. Uh, five casks of Navarine gemstones for the mausoleum and... Is it three? Yes, three barrels of unseasoned hours for the Royal Society. The problem is our terror is so high that... Uh, Kinda wanted to go to Warbly Jackson Mayor, and then inevitably end up in Perdurance, so we can try and do that other quest. But the mausoleum's down here, and the Royal Society's here, so I'm in a bit of a crap situation, to be honest. Not really sure how to go about doing it. I mean, I guess we just go and hope for the best. Like a valid solution, right? Never know, maybe something will happen, it'll lower our terror. Oh my god. Ooh. Almost took off the back end of me, uh, train. If you get one of the options that lets us raise our nightmares... ...by one... ...and lower our terror by 50%, I think I may actually take it. Just this once, because uh, if I don't, I fear we might die. And I'd rather not. I've got to apologise if I sound a little bit, um... Out of breath, shall I say it. Uh, I, I have something that isn't the coronavirus, <laughs> I think. It's some sort of, I don't know, cold or something. It's on my chest, but it's not, I haven't got a fever or anything. It could be the coronavirus, I don't know. Either way, I am self-isolated right now. I'm stuck at home. I can't go to work. Uh, so I, for the rest of the week, I'm kind of just sitting here uh, being bored, to be honest. Oh my god. Let's just quickly deal with this guy. Probably not a good idea, actually. Let's just carry him running away. I don't want to raise my terror unnecessarily. It's going to be bad enough if we have to go through the uh, mausoleum graveyard. Yes, yeah, so the, the, the whole of the United Kingdom has gone a bit mad. It's still. It's been weeks now and things are starting to get out of control. Not quite Italy out of control, but uh, reasonably out of control. Oh god. I picked off more than I can chew. Excuse me. Ow. Fine. Absolutely fine. Nothing to worry about here. Oh, come on. How many missiles does it take to take you down? That many, I guess. Will you answer that question? At least have something to lower my terror. Uh, the Resurrectionists haunt Memoranum, plundering its graves for corpse goods and cadavers. Yeah, I've read this a few hundred times. 68% chance of success. Hmm. Or we can strip it for parts and fix ourselves. Let's see what we can get. Please don't raise my terror. Oh god, I failed. It's going to raise my terror, isn't it? Ah! We'll search tons of an array of valuables retrieved from the dead. Cufflinks and brooches. Rings, wedding, engagement, signet, and ear. Tie pins and hairpins. Gold rimmed spectacles and silver plated belt buckles. You also find a cupboard full of skulls. Memento Mori for the death haunted aristocracy of Albion. Oh dear. Okay, so yeah, our terror is very high. Like, badly high. Hence the, the constant noise in my ear that's warning me that I'm probably about to die. Still a chance for uh, one of those checks to come up where it will let me trade my terror. If not, we're going to have to pass a very scary check uh, that could potentially kill my character. Or we dock. I wish there was ways you could lower your terror inside of uh, London. Because it seems a bit silly that I'm in what I can only describe as the most civilised part of Albion. There's nowhere I can go to relax. Oh well. <laughs> what can I say? Ooh. Let's attend a funeral. Let's attend a Skyfarer's funeral, because I'm pretty sure this has a lowering terror effect. Terror has fallen. Not by much. Maybe just enough. 
Okay, let's grab port report because I think I traded them all in. Wonderful, we've read that a million times as well. Not contemplate the dead oh, son. Arrange a meeting with the retired devil. I think this has something to do with the um Well of the Wolf. Either way, this one is an incredibly lucrative deal. 2,375. Direful Chamberlain takes your consignment with customary gloom. Serviceable. Which is, let's face it, all we can really hope for. My praise. And we gained a hundred sovereigns as a bonus. Your name is on the lips of the deathless few, the Empress's most prized courtiers. You have gained favour. And there is no... Nothing else here. We don't really need fuel or supplies. But let's head on to the Royal Society. And hope there'll be something there we can use to lower our terror as well. And we might just be able to limp through to Warbly Juxton there. It's going to be close, I think. Especially since I'm now flying over the top of the blooming dead sun. Which probably isn't the smartest move in the world. To be honest, let's avoid the dead sun. Uh, I really hope there's actually a way through here. I don't... It's all blocked off. Maybe round down this way? He's putting me dangerously close to the frickin' sun. This is where I wind up. In the middle of a goddamn haunted field or something. That's usually how this goes. And my terror spikes. Let's not hit the rock. It's really weird now because my brain... I've been playing Sunless Seas, as many of you are watching, and it's done fantastically well for, for my channel. So I thank it each and every one of you if you are watching it. Um, it's weird now because I've got like loads of different controls in my head, and I've got to try and differentiate between the two. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh dear. See, it's weird, because other than the whole breathlessness and a cough, and, uh, I feel fine. Like, normally when I get sick, I, I get knocked, and I keep going. I don't want to mess with this. One terror. Ah. Uh, yeah, I feel fine. Normally when I get sick, like, my nose blocks up, I can't, it like, destroys my throat, I can't record, I can't speak, it's horrible. It's not bad. I can, I can kind of still record. It's a little bit of a effort, but eh, it's great because there's oh no, there's the dun dun back up to ninety percent. Yeah, uh, I got to do Fall in London this week. Uh, I can't remember the name of the story that I'm doing, but it's got cats in it, so it should be brilliant. It's pretty much the assumption I'm going for there. Another thing that's come out today is the new Mountain Blade. Which I'm oddly excited for. But I, uh, it's very expensive, and I didn't realise it was coming out in bloody early access, which is a little bit upsetting, because it's probably going to be a mess. It's, it's a little insulting, considering it's been in development for oof, years and years and years and years and years now. Quick to the airy. Alright, oh, please have some slow, my goddamn terror. I'll take anything. Volunteering with a short-sighted professor. This will reduce your terror depending on success. This sounds good. The professor directs you to a comfortable chair. Their smile is almost, but not quite, comforting. Please pass. Failed. Damn. The terror has fallen, but not as much as I'd like. The professor's experiments are poorly explained and not particularly pleasant. Fortunately, his laudanum is high quality. You soon slip into a soft haze of indifference, barely noticing the buzz of electrical current through your tongue. Ooh, that doesn't sound pleasant at all, does it? Alright, uh, this probably wasn't worth quite so much, but yeah, 400, not bad. And another pack of carefully packed... No, another crate of carefully packed munitions, which somebody pointed out I did get as a reward last time. For some reason my brain just kind of filtered out this thing here. You've gained Strength the Sun, Nutel 23. Hmm. So, our next destination. I feel it's so far away, but maybe we can sneak back to London to get a 
a terror reduction? I don't know, I don't think it's been long enough. But it's Warbly Jackson Mare and then Perdnance, I think. So let's... Well, we haven't got much of a choice, have we? So we're going to have to... Whoa! Let's not... Mm, never mind. Let's not smash into the, the airy, but we did. Because my piloting skills are legendary. <laughs> Why would it never be the pilot in anything ever? He steps star, star Citizen where I'm bizarrely good. That's because it's a spaceship in three-dimensional space. It's fine. It's this 2D stuff I can't deal with. Uh, discounting Subnautica because that's also in the, the 3D space. I'm just bad at Subnautica. Now, there is going to be more streams of Subnautica, obviously, but that um, that video I did with just a one-off again, making the prompt I hope that was enough to sate the appetite of uh, people who've been wanting me to stream Subnautica for like two weeks now, and I've not done it. <laughs> I actually quite enjoyed playing the uh, game. God damn it. I actually quite enjoyed playing the game. Uh, just for a bit. It was quite relaxing. There's a few things I want to do there. I, I might do some stuff off camera. Uh, redo my vehicle modification bay and stuff like that that I accidentally deleted because I'm an idiot. Other than that, if it's eh, nothing's too uh, set in stone, but I'll definitely try and uh, stream it. Admittedly, uh, I have got Rainbow Six Siege now because I've basically been forced to get it. Oh god, we're at 10% again. God damn it. Uh, this way to London's probably this way. I'm putting all my hopes on being able to get to London and lower our terror. Yes, I got Siege now, because uh, the... We don't have a name. I mean, the Megalomongs is not something I'm going to go with. Okay, here we go. We're going to take it. A pistol has vanished from the armory. Knives are disappearing. The signs of insurrection. Oh. Or I can do nothing. What will come will come. This will lower our terror by 50, but increase our nightmares. I probably should take it. But then a small part of me is like 83%. I couldn't possibly fail 83%. Oh. For some reason I expected that to lower my terror. Okay, we're in a bad place. I should have took the other option. Whoops. Uh, we got quite a way to go. What's the best way to get into London, do we reckon? Do we reckon going through here, Simon's Nest and round? Or do we reckon going through all this bit? I reckon going through uh, the second option is probably the better one. It's just going to require a little bit better flying by my behalf. I actually know what happens when the terror gets to 100. I think I have a, I have to pass the check, even though I have no, no other problems. I fear it should just go into the nightmares rather than have a chance to instantly kill me at the first stage. But oh well. Oh boy. <laughs> if I get to London and I actually can't do anything, I'm going to cry. Like, legitimately going to cry. And that's assuming I get to London. We're going to be cutting this very, very, very close. As we always do when I'm coming back to London for some reason. I think we'll be okay though, as long as I can get through here. Damn it. Yeah, it's fine. I'm cutting it close. 96 maybe? No, 95 still. That's good. That's not a way to go. Now we're 96. Yeesh. Yeesh. This is gonna be so goddamn close. On the plus side, I've remembered it's the green one. <sighs> I'm learning. After hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of playing this game, I'm finally learning. But we have spent quite a lot of time in Albion. So. Please lower my terror. Oh. I did. Oh, thank God. Okay, we're good. Never mind. It's perfect. What is the average number? Oh my god, do I have enough? I actually have enough money. Did I do this? Should I buy a house in in London? I mean, the Hardycroft Hall sounds bloody awesome. 
the idealistic baronet Colossal Folly that was transported stone by stone through the avid horizon. Will it know glory again? Why are your residence is a step towards completing the ambition of wealth? You know what? Let's do it. Expensive. Wow, we got 5,000 experience. Good God. Its previous owner, the 13th Lord Hardycroft, was banished to the Midnight Cells by her renewed majesty. The house has stood empty since its Georgian grandeur decaying year on year. The Office of Public Works holds the title deal, deed and are all too happy to make the sale. There are superstitions around the old place. Vengeful ghosts, furious at being translated from the old world into the heavens. The hall is vast and immaculately appointed. Its stately decline tasteful and period appropriate. Hardicott Hall is yours. Now what will you do with it? <laughs> it's not just enough to be rich. One must be seen to be truly, lavishly, importunately wealthy. In order to retire in the manner to which you wish to become accustomed, you require two things. Suitable property and the admiration or envy of your peers. These are the best security that money can buy. Uh, expand your estate. You have property, but how will you make it yours? Oh. Oh my god. Property alone is not enough. One must demonstrate purpose and intent. One is not merely wealthy. One intends to be interesting or useful, or perhaps both. A decisive expansion of your estate will signal which strata of society you mean to join. You only make one expansion, so the next thing we need 7,500 sovereigns to build either a smuggler's hideout. I read through these just because I can. Acquire a library of uncensored works. A wealth of knowledge to outshine even the Library of Alexandria. Oh, and that'll increase our affiliation. Academ. Acquire an enormous wine cellar. <laughs> you will need... <laughs> Excuse me. Oh dear. You will need an abundance of wine and a super fluidity of space in which to store it. Uh, Bohem. Acquire a ballroom of incomparable splendor. You will outdo Versailles. Your party will be the stuff of legend. You will need to learn to dance. Or we can acquire a smuggler's hideout. Why not convert your estate into the perfect means of flouting the law? No, we definitely need more money. Which is a shame. You know. We have quite, we have quite a lot of money, but we need a little bit more. So, let's... Those. Is there any more? Ah, oh, damn it. No, I'm not doing either of those. They can go away. But let's make our way to the Warbly Juxta Mare, where I'm going to spend some of the money I've obtained lowering my terror more. Because, uh... Well, we're in a bit of a sticky situation, aren't we, where we can't really lower our terror that much? I mean, going to London's lowered it quite a lot, thank God. Otherwise, we might be in trouble. Hey, we've managed to actually achieve the first step in the wealth line. Way! I've only been trying to do that for... Months and months and months. I didn't realise it was only 2,500. I thought it was more than that. But now we need 7,500. It is definitely more than that. So, we will worry about that <laughs> and uh, get some more money. In theory, just running prospects for a while will get me the money to do it. So, I may end up doing that. But it's not exactly the most exciting thing to watch, I don't think. Which is a little bit worrying. But then I don't want to do it off camera. Just in case I die. And as funny as it would be, <laughs> I'd rather not. Uh, a mounting terror, the driver's hands tremble on the wheel. I thought I'd left fear behind, they say. Apparently not. I can relate to that one. Uh, it's crazy to me how much sunless skies and sunless seas play differently. I always thought they were very, they were similar. 
in my head because I'd never really played much of Seas. Just Seas was like a slower, harder version. Oh god. But no, they play completely differently. I'd definitely say that Sunless Seas is... Uh, sorry, there, there, there. Sunless Skies is the easier of the two. There's less of a learning curve, I feel. Plus the barter system and the trade system. I, I prefer it. Your hands down. It tells you where to go. It tells you where to, like, get the stuff, where to drop it off. Rather than Seas, where it's all kind of hidden in menus and you kind of have to know it yourself. I am actually going to get in the habit in C's of writing stuff down where you, where you find certain things. <coughs> so uh, I may actually be able to trade. Could be fun. But uh, I have to say, I wasn't sure if I was going to make C's, C's a series, but I, I think I am. I'm going to try to stick it to two episodes a week for a little while uh, because I haven't got anything else to play, to be honest. I'd like to have like, new, different things on like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Except Thursday's always going to be Fallen in London, and if there isn't one, I'm just going to not do a video. <laughs> the Mists of Wobbly Juxta Mare. Let's join in the Songs of the Mists. That lowers our terror slightly. Not by much, but, you know, it's not bad. Welcome to Wobbly Juxta Mare. We have five Uncanny Spans spins. I'm going to use those to get in, just for quick. Uh, I'm not going to read all of this. Uh, what should we go for? Go for a skirt. And then, I'm not going to consider the uh, strangeness or anything like that. I'm literally just going to have all... I'm going to have the best time in the world. We're going to stop at a charming tea room. There is Fallen. We're going to... We're going to take a donkey ride? We're gonna succumb to the wiles of the rubbery lump cellar. Uh, I should have taken another donkey here, right? I think the donkeys are actually really good. Let's uh, stop at the charming tea room. Uh, we'll say it's a different tea room, just to you know keep continuity going. Uh, let's take another donkey road. Basically, see it go down to the donkey road. Uh, and leave swiftly because our clothes have been destroyed, but we've lowered our terror significantly enough for me to not be too scared now. So, uh, this does no. A caged cat. Oh man, a caged catch. I always need those when I. <laughs> when I. Uh, like, when I need them, I can never find them, and I don't need them, they're everywhere. Alright, let's go to Pertinence. And see if. We can uh, find the lady's daughter. I, I can't remember what her name is now. Uh... God, where's it gone? I haven't done the uh, Inconvenient Arts storyline, have I? I really should do that somewhere. Um, well, there's a parliamentary seat at the Barbs and Blood World. Uh, I, mean, I went for the seat points here. Oh, you've agreed to release that. Wait, is he still with me? Oh my god. He's been with me for ages. He's like just in the hold somewhere. Whoops. I forgot about Half Glass. I really should look at this more, shouldn't I? We can ignore the long passage. Uh, there we go, the councillor's daughter. There we go, uh, the presumptive heiress. That's who we're looking for. Man, I've got loads of things to do. I thought I was like running out of stuff to do. I've just been not looking at my quest log that I really should look at more. Because I would actually like to complete some of these things and not die in the process. That'd be nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll apologise for the horrendous cough. It's uh, it's kind of like out of my control. <laughs> if I laugh, talk too much, or like 
breathe ever so slightly wrong, it catches and I end up coughing like a nutter. It's worse if I laugh. Oh, if I laugh, the pain is so much. Oh no, a scorn fluke. Bugger, bugger, bugger. I do not want to deal with you. Go away. Seriously, you, you are a freaking nightmare. No. Ah, oh, balls. Hey. Eat this. Oh, flip an egg. I'm, try I'm trying to enlist the uh, help of the bloody dreadnought that's floating around over here. Oi! Copper! Need your help. Oh god, where's he gone? Oi, you! Oh. Oh! Oh, I've made this so much worse. Evasive maneuvers! Run, 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 run! run. Oh, <laughs> flip it out. <laughs> I couldn't have possibly got any worse. Oh, God. <sighs> Run away from a scorn fluke straight into the path of a freaking dreadnought that's been taken over by the guests. Oh, God. I thought because maybe because I was close to Warby Jackson Bear that the, the police here may actually be the police, but nope. God, that was funny. Oh, bugger off. They're still here. Basic maneuvers. We're just gonna we're just gonna avoid best we can. I could fight them, but it's honestly it's not really worth it. I, I then again, don't the scorn flukes drop something that I actually want? Hmm, I feel like they do. They may. There's a lot of scorn flukes around here. Well, I guess if I'm looking for scorn flukes, it's up by Purdens. Isn't that weird? Why would, why would they be up here? There's some sort of law implication as to why those are here. I think we're safe now. Ugh. Battled by the acoustics of the ship, the useless cat is serving as the soundtrack to your adventures. <laughs> right. <clears throat> we are kind of running out of fuel, which is a little bit worrying, isn't it? But yeah, we'll be fine. Uh, a party below the stairs? That seems really good. Exchange, exchange particularly good gossip. You have some juicy tidbits of your own to share. Maybe I should read this bit first. Tonight the service bells from above stairs go ignored. The staff has a couple of hours to itself to dance, to sing, to trade stories of their betters. The candlelit party lasts until the clock strikes midnight, and the butlers, maids, and other staff intend to make the most of it. Yeah, savage secrets are quite hard to get a hold of, even though I have nine of them. The staff hears all of Albion's dirtiest secrets, and are only too happy to share. To them, it is just gossip. In the right hands, these whispers can become a weapon. Ah, see now, in theory I should end the episode here, and I may I may do just that, and then we will tackle pertinence in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, let me know you think your comments are greatly appreciated. And as always, I'll see you next time.